Hello everyone, this is Chef Emmanuel once again, ready to cook an incredible soul food dinner for you today. Listen, I'm at home here on Sunday and what I do every Sunday after service is I come home and I prepare an incredible soul food classic for my family. Alright, so today I'm going to share that secret with you. I'm going to show you at home how to prepare authentic beef short ribs. And also, I'm going to prepare another dish to go along with that. Today, we're going to have lima beans with smoked turkey. I'm going to show you guys how to put this whole thing together. Now, this is real soul food. This is not the stuff you see on television, all right? And when we come back, it's on and popping. All right, now, the first thing we want to do uh, is to uh, clean our um, beef short ribs up a little bit. Now, there are four pieces here that I've already cleaned for you. But as you can see here, uh, there's a bone on the bottom side of the uh, beef short rib. Now, there's a silver scan on this side, but we can leave it since the bone is right there. Let's not worry about that. What we want to do is to take some of the fat uh, off of the, uh, the belly side of the, uh, the spare rib. Okay? Uh, <laughs> what we want to do is to take some of the fat off here. So, uh, we don't want to take all the fat off because uh, some of that fat will uh, give you additional flavor in the dish. So, I'm just going to go down here on the side just like that and take some of it and leave some. All right? So let's just take a little bit more right there and that's perfect. So this is what your beef short rib should look like uh, before you cook it. Now what we're going to do right now uh, is marinate these and we're going to marinate these overnight for about 12 hours. Okay now let's uh, go ahead and uh, season our uh, beef uh, short ribs and uh, prepare our marinade for uh, the short ribs. Now, first thing we want to do is to season the meat just like this. Now, I'm using uh, fine sea salt to season. All right, so we go with a little fine sea salt on top. We're going to go with black pepper. Go easy on the pepper. All right, the next thing we want to do is to add a little chili powder. So let's sprinkle the chili powder on liberally. All right, now we're going to season both sides of this. Now the next thing we have is granulated garlic. I find that the combination of granulated garlic, onion powder, and chili powder really works well together uh, with steak. All right, now we're going with our onion powder. All right. Also, we have a little dry thyme. Thyme and beef is a marriage made in heaven. We're just going to season the top side of our beef short ribs. Now what we want to do is to put our short ribs in our bag, in our zip bag that we're going to marinate these in. Okay? Now, we're going to open the bag up a little bit just like that. And we're going to go in with approximately a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. All right, now you could also use a uh, low calorie steak sauce uh, as a marinade as well. Now we have a quarter cup of Worcester sauce and now we're going to go in with approximately two and a half tablespoons of grapeseed oil. All right, so let's burp our bag, make sure all the air is out, zip it tightly, just like that. Okay, and we want to shake this around a little bit, just like that. Now this is our marinade. Move that around and make sure that all the seasoning, all of the Worcester sauce and the great seed oil soaks in a little bit just like that and it also uh, ensures that the seasoning is distributed evenly. Alright, so now we're just going to fold this and we're going to put this in our refrigerator. So we're going to put this in our refrigerator, let it sit overnight and in 12 hours I'll show you what it looks like and we will uh, start to cook this dish.